Practically, preparation for that match was started in the beginning of the pre-season because uh, the main task for Porto uh, is to winning this match. Uh, before, Porto was a European champion and uh, trying also to win the Super Cup of Europe. And then you have no time during the championship to prepare this special that game. And then from my beginnings, starting working with the Porto players, uh, I was thinking about Ajax and what I'm going to, to play with Ajax will be sufficient also for, for the domestic championship. Ajax in that moment was playing um, you know, modern football with the open winger, with the strictly marking behind, with the libero, with a different way of uh, position of the two attackant. And um, practically they play with a lot of open space, physically ready, fantastic. And uh, in that time, uh, they, that football was uh, very modern in, the, in, the, in Europe. Gary Miran uh, practically he made a game for Ajax. It was uh, one player with a long, long pass, uh, 60, 70 meters. Uh, this player was not so, so quick. And then always when Ajax was in possession with the ball, Gary Miran is coming back to receiving ball to be free and then later on he will find the, the best solution to give these passes. Uh, when uh, I, I make uh, really um, uh, thinking about how to stop these long passes. I chose them because uh, that was a, a team who already has their own automatism. That was 11, the best players in that moment, what uh, Porto had. Uh, uh, very experienced, confidence, uh, and uh, they play in that time. Porto was playing the best football in the world. The many journalists, they were asked me and they said, Mr. Ivic, your team is playing uh, um, football from another planet. Really specific uh, rules was uh, on uh, two players, on Frasco, one, and also Rui Barros. Frasco should play uh, to protect the ball, to keep the ball as long as possible. Because he had the quality to protect this ball and to win many fouls for FC Porto. On another side, uh, Rui Barras was a player extremely quick with, and then I put it to Mark and Gary Miren, who was a slow player. That was a contrary. Uh, when Gary Miren has uh, in the possession of the ball, uh, Baros should stay and then he stopped these long passes. On another side, when we were in the position of the ball, Rui Baros should go, should go from him and nobody can stop him. I chose this uh, tactic 4-4-2, uh, playing with the uh, four-back, with um, Juan Pinto, Lima Pereira, Gerald Dao is uh, in Asia. On the right side was Jaime Magalhães, on the left side was uh, Souza, and on the middle was, um, as a sweeper, as a trinco, was André, who was an excellent player. In front of them was, uh, Rui, uh, was um, Frasco, who could move left and right, just to ask a ball and to protect the ball. A little bit in front of these four players, was playing Gomes as a pivot and uh, Rui Barros. That stadium for me was not strange, but uh, to be European champion, uh, Super Cup, uh, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit different because uh, uh, it's not so many times 
uh, one man, one coach has the possibility to, to play final. And then I said, in such a big Olympic stadium to win this uh, fantastic trophy will be excellent. My heart was uh, uh, bumping a little bit <laughs> quicker and uh, normally, but when the game is starting, I forget everything. Gomes in that game was playing like pivot in front of all the team and uh, he need to be always in this position to receive a ball. Uh, Baros was playing, uh, as I told you, uh, practically strictly marking um, uh, Gary Muren and from when we are in the position of the ball, he need to go from, from him. Rui Baros was scored the first goal and after, during the game, he had already <laughs> three, four chances more. It was a classically contra-attack. It was Ajax uh, in attack. We recuperate the ball, quickly ball in the feet to Gomes, and from Gomes, it's open space for Baros. Uh, and you cannot believe how much space he had. And then, uh, he is practically, he is not goal scorer. But he had, he came in the situation that he cannot mi miss, miss that goal. The Ajax uh, may, uh, should make uh, much more, much more risk, and uh, this much more risk means open more. That means giving us more space, and we with the Rui Baros, with Frasco, with also Jean Mangalians on the right side. We were good counter-attack team. Just to continue like this, to make them courage, and uh, you know, in the break time you have only five minutes just to talk, to remember me, the basic, the basic. And um, I said also, Rui Baros, please stay as close as possible to Gary Miran, and from him you will find solution to, your, to attack. That game won 11 players. Because uh, uh, Porto in that time was uh, one of the greatest team in the world. And they play so collective uh, that later on I never met uh, uh, the similar team like Porto did. On the end of the game, I was feeling so happy. But in the same time, I was thinking for the uh, next game against um, Ajax in Porto. After the match, he said to me, Mister, felicitations. It's uh, fantastic. We are now, we should be a super uh, champion of Europe. I know in that moment that it was uh, the most uh, uh, happiness, uh, hap happy man in the, in the world. Because that um, from Pinto da Costa, such a great president, start uh, international success. Uh, and uh, I know this man could do it much more. But it was, it was for, from Vienna, to Amsterdam, it was a study, his international success, fantastic. <laughs>